Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Well, you could start by burning off this. That's better. Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. We need a new vantage point, brother. Hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. <laughs> ah, promising. Once more. Aye, aye. There you go. Right on the money. Again. Gates open. Come on through and get those cables.
<laughs> Whoa! I think they seen us. Above you! Watch it! <laughs> You're gonna look dandy as a red flush on this here hammer! Take that nest out so the thing can move! That's why we're up here, remember? Abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stomp the stomp. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam pot. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot! The sound of the wind! Oh, watch and learn! See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important. Form of the thing. <laughs> Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> hey, call an old pecker grip. <laughs> <laughs> Creature in this whole realm. 
Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tape. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. Goaty, you sure didn't give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a the moment there. We're good. Crank it.
I... Uh... She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Victor almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might. Bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a try. We got ballers here! 
You know I can't let you take our new gal home without a <laughs> We got volunteers! Find <laughs> 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 you! Look out! Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without Oh, 
defense on high. <laughs> Doing this one boy style. Now listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Big heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. <laughs> Got man on the left! Ah, oh, lick my face! There's eyeball nests all over! Get your throwing arm in here! Bless him! bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, as bollocks as I say. Never mind. 
favor to ask of the boat button when we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, very well. These ugly bugs. Maybe those grim will take him down. <laughs> Yeah! 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 
That gun's found a perch on high. <laughs> Enough heart pumping for me today. Oh. You pick up the loot. I'll set up shop over yonder. Straight it is.
Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it horking and borking. Oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. everyone. Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard. Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours, he's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself, beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here, 